There's no doubt that AI is the hottest topic in the industry right now. From self-driving cars to, you know, whether it is the home assistants, it's all talk about AI. I even recently read that home assistants will be able to take care of babies in a few years. I told my wife we should have another baby. We call it the AI baby. She hasn't gone for it. But we also know that AI is far from that level of sophistication and intelligence that we want to. But we also know that every enterprise have to adopt AI to succeed and survive. I see three reasons. One, opportunities. AI brings a set of opportunities that did not exist before. Two, optimization. It helps you optimize whether it's your internal development process or your supply chain. Three, knowledge. Think about it. If you're a bank and you had a lead underwriter who has been there for 20 or 30 years, he or she leaves, the knowledge is gone. With AI, the knowledge stays within enterprise. So it's so critical for every enterprise to adopt AI. But the reality is that you know, only 4% of executives admit that they have really implemented AI. It's not easy, because unless you're an enterprise that was born in the last five years, which is very rare, it's hard, because you have what I call the burden of legacy. There are data silos. You know, data exists everywhere. There's no shortage of data. There's dispersion of skills. There's data scientists, there's data engineers, there's data stewards, all exist within. There's architecture that has been placed for a very long time. So, and we did a case study with one of the large customers, financial customers, and we found exactly that. The same problem exists in enterprises. So I call it, how do you get to the journey for AI? I call it the cat, the culture. The culture has to come from bottoms up. The developers have to buy into that culture that you have. It has to be a decision culture. You have to have center of excellence to develop skills. Data architecture. You got to make sure you have a data architecture that's elastic and expansive. Kubernetes gives some level of it, but you need a data layer on top of it. You want real time. If you look at it, most of the data happens in real time, but the decisions are made on stale data. How do you make real time decisions on real time data? Democratic yet governed, how do you do that? Last but not least, technology. That becomes a critical pillar. You don't want to take thousands of shiny objects or 20 different products, bring it all together. You want a single data platform that can give you, that's built on top of open source. So in IBM, we built IBM Cloud Private for Data. Whether you are collecting the data, streaming data, IoT data, or connecting, that's what I mean by data virtualization. Be able to connect to existing data source without moving your data. Being able to organize your data, govern your data, manage your data, cleanse your data, and then build models on that data. So analyze, and then finally infuse. How do you infuse that model that you built into your existing architecture or enterprise? That is the biggest struggle that enterprises have that I have seen is that Building the model itself only takes weeks, but infusing that model or interjecting that model into your existing enterprise, that's the biggest challenge every enterprise faces. So I took like three case studies or three customers that we have worked with from hundreds of customers. One, healthcare. How do you take vitals from a patient real time and be able to make decisions for that patient on that data, which is very critical, which is happening today. Two, finance. ZKP, you know, the security becomes so critical today for customers. How do we use you know, protocols like ZKP to do GDPR and make data more secure? Three, manufacturing. How can you do predictive maintenance on large sets of data and improve your supply chain process? So if you want to learn more about Journey to AI, stop by our booth 1015, and we would love to talk about you know, how do you modernize your data estates and take you through the journey of AI. Thank you so much.